All right. They got our two best horses. How's Mel? Yeah, I'm afraid he's dead. We're gonna kill him for this boy. You get into town, get Marshal Morris and the posse. As many men as he can get. As soon as you rounded up enough men. It's Buckhart. Buckhart? Leave your gun alone. I had enough trouble getting you off the last time you pulled a gun in front of him. Morrison and a posse, where are they? Just Timmons and me, Mr. Cameron. What the devil is this? I don't want you or a trail-tired old man like Timmons. Where are the others? No others. All I hear told the marshal the rustlers were headed for the Poco Diablo country. You don't send a posse of men into that, Mr. Cameron. The region's infested with bandits. They're just waiting for guns and horse flesh. This is a job for two men. Buckhart, I'm giving you one hour to get back into town, round up Morrison, a dozen deputies, and meet Roy and me at Walker's Mill just south of town. You have any idea who the rustlers were? I gave you an order, Buckhart. I could waste a lot of time telling you why I don't obey it. But I think it would be faster if you just answer my question, Mr. Cameron. Buckhart, an hour ago, my foreman, my friend, was killed by rustlers who stole the two finest stallions this side of the Pecos. Those horses are the lifeblood of my business. I want them back alive. And I want the murderers who killed my foreman. I wouldn't have to ask for help if my own men weren't out on Roundup. Now, you're trying to keep me from getting what I want. I want to know why. Maybe he used his Eastern education to talk Morrison out of it. Come on, Walt. Do you know what happens if those men aren't caught? I go straight to Governor Lou Wallace. He hasn't been my friend 10 years for nothing. I'll have you thrown out on your neck. Maybe you can do that, Mr. Cameron. I can do it and you know it. Get my horse, Roy. What for? We're going with you. For one thing, we haven't got time to round up more men. For another, I don't trust you. I advise you to leave this to us. And I advise you to get on with the job. We're going with you. We got trouble before we start, ain't we, Sam? Why are we going so slow, Buckhart? Because I'm having this party, Mr. Cameron. You gonna let him talk to you like that, Amos? I told you I shot one of them. Now, if we'll double our pace, we can catch them before nightfall. Not at the rate they're going. They're killing the horses. We're not going to kill ours. They're running one of your stallions on a broken shoe. They'll be slowing down before you think. If we waste any more time. We ain't going to have any animals. I thought you asked for help. I did. Not from a... old man like you. Now you simmer down, boy. I got 50 years of meanness building up in me. I don't want to have to use it on you. Walt. Buckhart, I want my horses back alive. They're not just ordinary animals. And I want those men alive. I heard you the first time. The way they're going, they're not going to last through the day. If we kill our horses, we're not going to get out of here alive. Worried about your skin, deputy? Let's get something straight. You two men are my responsibility. The first time either of you break an order, Timmons and I are gonna take your horses away from you and send you back to Santa Fe on foot, Governor Wallace or not.
We lost them. That's what we get for growing so slow. Horses need rest. We'll camp here. Amos, we ain't never gonna find them. How do you know they crossed them lava beds? There were no tracks. I'm talking to you, mister. You're not very observant, are you, boy? What do you call this? That blood's not more than a couple of hours old. Why well, ain't you remember we're following a wounded man? We asked for help, Roy. Let him give it to us. Just get a fire lit. No fires. The hills are filled with coming cheros. From here on, it's dry camp. Well, we ain't seen one of them bandits since we left. Yeah, well, I'd say that's plain lucky. Just cause those coming cheros are dying out don't mean they ain't out there. Or maybe you never seen what they do to you when they smell horse flesh and guns. Roy, take care of your gear. Saddle that horse. Well, looks like something dead up there, Amos. We'll have to go see. Hold it. What's eating you now? Buzzards can smell death a long time before it comes. Because a man is dying doesn't mean he's not dangerous. We'll circle around, head in from the east. That rock and brush will give us protection. You're still worried about your own skin, ain't you? If we can see buzzards, the common sheriffs can see them also. There's death out there, it means loot. Then be here. We'd better not take any more chances than we have to. Is that clear, Mr. Cameron? That's clear. Sorry your brother had to find out the way he did. When I'm through with you, I'll see you run out of the territory. 
When you got nothing left but your gun, I'll shoot you down just like I'd shoot down a mad dog. Must be one of them rustlers. Cameron. Recognize him? He's the one I shot. What about the other one? And say he rode off after this one bled to death. One of your horses is dead. Where? What you gonna do, Sam? You told him he couldn't come along, and now this happens. He's gonna do more than blame you for his brother's death. I've been blamed before. He's been dead maybe two or three hours. The bandits have a long ride before they catch the other one. Get a shovel. Keep away from Roy. Bury my own. No more than two or three hours old. He's out of water. Those coming chair are sure on his trail, Sam. How are we getting to him? What have you got to think about? We're through trying to follow. We're going to circle around. Where? Verde Canyon country. We'll come down in front of him at Apache Wells before the coming chairs reach him. How much water you got, Walt? Quarter full. What about you? Mostly gone. You better save it. Well, stop telling me. You wanted to come and you're here, Mr. Cameron. You'll do as I say. From now on, the water's just for the horses. We'll moisten their mouths every quarter hour. Drop your guns, both of you. Drop them, you hear me? You ain't after the thief. You're just afraid of what I'll do when we get back. You want to lose me out here, don't you? You ain't got guts enough to kill me. If I wanted to kill you, I could have done so a long time ago. You fire that gun, you'll have the bandits down on us. 
Maybe you don't remember how sound carries out here, Cameron. Take your choice. You'll get your gun back when you need it. You got about a mile more, maybe two. We're riding. Got your back, boy. Buckhart, bring some water and take care of my horse. That's near dead, Mr. Cameron. Who cares? Bring water to my stallion. We'll all get water. Apache Wells isn't far from here. This man gets water first. Let him die. He killed Mel. I say kill him here. I'm taking this man in alive. They're coming, Sam. We took too much time. Let's get him on to them. You ride the stallion. How do you know they won't see us? They haven't seen us yet. If we had a posse like I wanted, we could protect ourselves. We wouldn't need protection if Walter and I had done this alone. Now get going. Get back! Vaya, muchachos, círculo! Agarro la falta! Vamos, muchachos! Can't make it. No, no, not with him. They're after one man. If they saw you, they'll think it's him. I'm gonna take your place. We're not leaving you, Sam. You're going, that's an order. Enough water here to get you back if you're careful. Well, you can't do it alone. They'll kill you. You're taking these men back to Santa Fe, Mr. Timmons. Now go. Get going.
Parece que es por aquí. Vámonos. Cameron, when I get to Santa Fe, I'm going to make out my report. You do what you have to do. If you're such a power in this territory, I'm sure the governor will be willing to listen to you. I have nothing to tell him. My brother was killed by the common sheriffs. It was his own fault. Sam, I've never asked forgiveness of any man in my life. I'm asking it now. 